Mm, hello everyone, this is Sean Zhong Liu from the University of Illinois at Urbana Champaign. I will present our paper titled Global Fusion, a Global Attentional Deep Learning uh, Framework for Multi-Sensor Information Fusion. Our problem is motivated by the proliferation of various smart devices, for example, the smartphones, smart shoes, smart glasses, and smart watches. Mm, several devices may exist in a typical body network, and each of them is equipped with multiple sensors like the accelerometer, the microphone, and the light sensor. They can be collaboratively utilized to capture the user context, perform environmental measurements, and recognize body movements. And meanwhile, in many sensing applications, deep learning algorithms have shown non-trivial accuracy improvements compared to conventional feature engineering based machine learning methods. The feature extraction and classification are automatically conducted by the neural network. How to perform sensor fusion within the neural networks becomes a new challenge. The key question in this paper is how to effectively and efficiently perform multi-sensor information fusion within neural networks. Our answer is the end-to-end -end learning framework called Global Fusion. Well, let's look at the current literature. Information fusion has been done in traditional neural networks, but the wiring of the global context is fixed as a function of the data of local feature maps. And attention mechanisms can allow for flexible data-dependent fusion. Different weighting of the same local features can be presented in different global contexts. And in previous works, mean query has been used for sensor fusion, they address the sensor information co correlation, but they don't address the information intelligence yet. Our insight here is that aggregated information from higher layers of the neural network is better at recalibrate and filter the local sensor features so that the information heterogeneity is also captured. Specifically, we target at the multi device human activity recognition application. Multiple inertial modules can be deployed simultaneously on several body positions, while each MU module consists of an accelerometer, a gyroscope, and a magnetometer. For each sensor position pair, the data is in the format of time frequency spectrogram. This is the end to end overview of global fusion framework for multi point, multi sensor classification. It's generally divided into four stages individual sensor feature extraction special information fusion, sensing modality information fusion, and classification module. The first three modules are all convolutional modules, while the classification is by an RNA-based classification network. The convolutional modules do not address the heterogeneity among sources, but we ultimately want to see the features from informative sensors and positions to be amplified while the unrelated noise being suppressed. So we cut the direct connection between original fusion output and input to the next layer and add one global attention module between them to enhance fusion output with complementary local features. The concrete design of the global attention module is shown in this page. The preliminary global feature extraction module refers to a three-layer convolution network. We extract the global query from the merged global features and extract local keys and values from local feature maps. The attention weight of each sensor type or position is evaluated as the similarity between the global query and the local keys. By doing so, the class specific information in global features become the standard to evaluate the informativeness of local features. Next, the weighted sum of local features is denoted as the merged local features, which is then merged back to the global query through a residual connection. Next is the evaluation. We evaluated the performance of sensor fusion models on four public human activity recognition datasets, and the five attention-based sensor fusion baselines are compared. Their design details are skipped here. We first show the quantitative modeling performance by their accuracy and F1 score. We can see that global fusion improves the performance by a clear margin compared to the backbone difference model. While the two versions of the global fusion shows that spatial attention module is more effective 
than the modality attention module. The confusion matrix indicates that the error mainly comes from the ambiguity between sitting and standing, which are two static gestures. We also evaluate the model efficiency of each model on Nexus 5 with TensorFlow Lite. It turns out that global fusion has higher time and energy efficiencies than SA deep sense, and only negligible overhead is caused by the global attention modules compared to the backbone deep sense model. So let's briefly conclude the paper. We have proposed a global attention mechanism for multi-sense information fusion and integrated into an end-to-end -end learning framework named Global Fusion. And we also demonstrated the effectiveness and efficiency of Global Fusion on four public HAR datasets. And thank you for your time, and please feel free to contact me via emails if you have any questions or feedbacks. Thank you.